This is one of the most important days in Iran's calendar. This is the day 31 years ago when Ayatollah Khomeini returned from years in exile. And this is where he first came to Iran's biggest cemetery, Behesht e Zahra. 31 years on from that day and more than 20 years on from his death, Ayatollah Khomeini is still loved by many Iranians. Faiza Firuzfar is only 16. She wants to tell me what she thinks of the Imam. You're too young to remember the Imam, but why do you think he's so important to you today? From my mother's, from my father's, and from uh, TV's, and from that we have, that we now have that Iran. We can uh, have a lot of facility in Iran. Just a year and a half after the revolution came the Iran-Iraq war, a conflict that claimed tens of thousands of lives. That bloody war with Iraq, one of the many events that define Imam Khomeini's leadership. Others include the American hostage crisis, the fatwa on Salman Rushdie. Those events may have now faded, but the legacy of Ayatollah Khomeini still lives on. The Revolutionary Guards, which he founded, are now one of the most powerful institutions in Iran. You can be sure that if these same young people were present at that time, they would have done the same, even more. And our enemies should know that they can't do anything to us. But Imam Khomeini would probably not recognize northern Tehran, which has modernized massively in the last 20 years. Here, there's little sign of celebration. This day was important back in 1979, but it's not important today. After what the Imam said in Behesht e Zahra, look at the situation we see now. The things he said were not fulfilled. Over the next 10 days, the Islamic Republic will be marking its revolution with events like this. This is about far more than just celebrating what happened 31 years ago. The authorities here want to show the world that they are as confident as ever. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Tehran.